first purpose of having a trio is that it's a trio. And what a trio does is, is it plays piano trios and, and, it, and it performs. And so there's a vast amount of repertoire that's written for piano trio. The Rollins Trio is a very dynamic group, um, complex in the best possible way. Uh, our interaction is fantastic. This is really uh, my background. Uh, it's truly to be a chamber player. It's not a common setup in the School of Music to have a group in residence who actually comes with the job. I always loved uh, teaching some, somebody because you, if you teach, you learn for yourself much better. I've only gotten to work with her for about two and a half months now, but already I can see like so much improvement in my playing, especially uh, as far as like the emotional aspect of playing. She brings a new thought process to playing the piano that I've never really had before. It's definitely made me a smarter musician. Um, I think about music in, in a lot of different ways than I used to. Now I think about how the orchestra can be represented by the piano. This is a journey. You have to describe something. But throughout, I also take each lesson as a journey to grow. When you learn a piece, you're not just playing notes to her. She wants you to be able to produce music with your instrument. It goes more into um, intricate work and in music that makes it stand out um, and create like a, that experience for the performers and then also for the musician. There's just something about it that that just ex excites me, and it you know just really go goes to the soul, and and it makes you feel like a better human being for having experienced those feelings and those emotions.